yes, I am jump roping wearing knee pads. And if you want to find out why, stay till the end of the video. What's up guys, Jason with Little Guy, Big Reviews. On today's video, I'm reviewing what I'm calling revolutionary knee pads. I've never used them before and I can almost guarantee you've never seen them as well. Today I'm going to test them out, see if they really work, that and much more on today's video. Really cool thing about these things and the claim to fame is that no matter what you do to these knee pads, they will always return right back to your knees. So in some of the videos that I watched, they actually kind of flipped it around like this and it's twisted up, it's not on your kneecap. All you have to do is you get down, you stretch out your leg all the way, boom, comes right back right back into place. Twist it. All you got to do again, you get down, put your leg all the way out, and bam, right back to place. No other knee pads do that. Usually they're already sliding down around your ankles right now, but these are still in the same place. So with that, that is already a plus plus in my book. We all know how typical knee pads get right in the back of your pants where the strap goes. They start to bind up, bunch up, and then when you kneel down, you really kind of feel like that, that pinch or that tension on the back. Now these knee pads claim that that does not happen, and it doesn't. So when you kneel down, because the knee pads are in the front, there is no binding in the back whatsoever. No pinching at all like compared to these knee pads as you can see it's crumpling i can already feel it on my leg that that little pinching so these definitely eliminate that now it does claim not to sweat but it does and any knee pads are going to sweat especially when you have that much pressure on it and you're wearing it all day for eight hours or ten hours but you will not feel that pinching binding on the back of your leg how are you going to put these on is you're going to take this bottom piece and you're going to find the clip on it you want to make sure that it's straight and then you're going to take this right here and you're just going to clip it right here on the knee pad. Now see this little round piece? What you want to do is you want to go ahead and just hook it to the bottom of your boot in between where the heel rises, right up there. After you do that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to hook these little metal clips right here on your belt. Just like that. When you put these on, you're gonna have to figure out if you're gonna need these wider or closer. Now, when I kneel down, I kneel down straight. So I like to have these closer in this area, but if you kneel down and you are more of a wider kind of kneeler, then you are gonna wanna put these out a little bit farther. It's gonna dictate which way the knee pad goes when you sit down. So the wider this is, it's gonna more kind of go to your left. See how that is? Now that we got both knee pads on, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get this strap down here and you're gonna wanna have this at least half an inch above your kneecap. So you grab these little tags right here. Once you have that position, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this strap right here and you're gonna tighten it up. And once you stand up and it's halfway above your kneecap, you are ready to go. Okay, now that we have all the adjustments right to our settings and our body types, let's go ahead and put these to the test. So on my last knee pad video, people asked me if you can wear shorts. So I'm gonna wear shorts wearing these knee pads today while I put the pull net on. I'm gonna do it on my knee. So let's go ahead and see how that works. One thing about other knee pads that I've used, I know is that whenever I start to climb ladders that the top of my knee pads get stuck on the rungs and I either have to take them off or I have to push them down to my ankles or turn them all the way backwards. But with these knee pads, the cool thing is all you have to do is actually just turn them to the left side of your leg and you're good. They're out of the way. You can climb up and down ladders. And then once you're ready for it to come right back to your knee, all you do is just open your leg, extend it, and it comes right back into place. What other knee pads do you know that can do that? Right. So one thing that I've noticed lately while wearing these boots 
is that the heel size actually matters because I have a really small heel on this one and the strap has been kind of slowly coming off. Now, if you see the heel on this one, this thing is freaking huge and this has not come off. So the bigger the heel that you have, the more sturdy this is gonna be and it's not gonna come off compared to this one where uh, it's really probably gonna happen a lot more than you want it to do. So one other cool thing about these knee pads is because they're not really bulky, they won't scrape your dashboard right here like my other ones tend to do. And then also what you can do is if you want to wear them while you're driving, you can just literally slide them to the sides and you're good to go. And then what you can do is you just put them right back and you're on. So versatility with this thing is amazing. These are probably by far the best knee pads so far out of all the knee pads that I've tried. These are taking the cake as of right now really really good knee pads so the reason i am jump roping while wearing knee pads is to show you that these knee pads do not slip down your legs and will always stay in place no matter how much movement you do look at these are already down on my ankles this right on my kneecap Oh boy, let's go. Before I give you guys my final thoughts, I wanna know what your opinion is down in the comment section below. Also, all the information and links will be down in the description, so make sure you check that out as well. Now for me, what I really love about these knee pads, there is no binding, no pinching behind the legs, and these things are never gonna drip down from your knees, and you're not gonna have to tug them up. No matter what you do, as you see, they will always come right back to place, and that is amazing. No knee pads that I've ever tried have done that. Now, I know you guys are gonna wonder about, say, these metal clips. These things are built to last, and if you break them, that means you put these things to use, and you probably just need to go get another pair. Also, the elastic bands on these things are made of heavy-duty quality. They feel very, very sturdy. Again, if you break it, you put these bad boys to the test. Also, the gel padding on these things, it's really nice, forms around your kneecap really well and you won't get any kind of pinching or anything on your knees while using these. Overall, these knee pads are amazing. These are going to be my go-to from now on because I don't have to worry about them pinching or anything that we always have to do with knee pads. So with that being said, guys, if you found this video helpful, please share it on your favorite social media, smash that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a video like this. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.